All right, I've got a zoomy video here. I'm trying with me not holding the camera to see how this goes. Um, zoomy is on even though you can't see your face because this lesson, um, she will show values on her screen. Um, so uh, that basically the uh, library is loaded that will cause her face to disappear when that happens. So this time, we're, last time we did driving decisions uh, several weeks ago. Um, typically, because there's a live stream, I don't always do these every week. Now we're moving to more advanced lessons, IR sensors. So we're going to cover the IR sensors that Zoomy has. Oh, I already opened the page, didn't mean to do it twice. Okay, so IR sensors. IR for short, infrared, is a form of electromagnetic radiation that is not visible with the human eye. It's also a form of energy. However, as scary as the name sounds, not all electromagnetic radiation is dangerous. There is a small portion of it that we can see, meaning this is visible light. The different colors that we see depend on the various wavelengths. As the wavelengths get longer, the colors become less visible to humans. However, special sensors can detect these waves. You will use the IR sensors on Zoomy to detect objects that are covering the sensors. So they give a, a wavelength. Um, so these are shorter, these are longer. Shorter wavelengths are higher frequency, higher energy. Longer wavelengths, lower frequency, lower energy. This is from uh, NASA. So gamma ray, x-ray, ultraviolet light, visible. Yeah, and some species can see ultraviolet light, infrared, microwave, and radio. Zoomy IR sensors. Zoomy is equipped with six IR sensors. Two in the front, one on the right, one on the left. Two in the back, one on the right, one on the left. And two on the bottom. It's a right side and left side on the bottom. They all have an index, so it's easier to read their da data. Front right, bottom right, back right, bottom left, back left, front left. So zero to five. So it starts with zero, not one. Display IR data on the screen. You are going to display the IR data on Zoomy screen. To get IR data, you'll need a Zoomy object, and to display on the screen, you will need to create a session object. So I'd already run this, but I'm gonna run it again. You can see that's loading the libraries, clearing your screen, basically. What does the data mean? IR sensors work by emitting an infrared pulse and measuring the infrared light that returns after it bounces off an object. This number will be between 0 and 255. A lower number indicates that something in the vicinity is reflecting the IR light back to the sensor. Run each cell and watch the numbers on the screens change as you cover the sensors. The code will use a for loop to take 50 readings. So here's the first one we're gonna run. And this is, what is it, the right? So if I cover this, the number goes lower. If I cover this side, that number goes lower. And then it'll stop here in a moment. And hopefully you can see that the number goes lower. And if I cover both of them, they both go lower. So. Pretty simple. And then it says done when it's done. Great place I live, right? Okay, here's the back IR sensors. And same deal. Right side, lower on that side. And I'm actually slightly covering the, the other side on the back. So there we go. And then this side, I cover the back, it goes down. And then I cover both and it goes down. Okay, and then it'll be done in a second. Okay, it says bottom IR sensors are great for line following or detection. Use the bottom IR worksheet to test values between light and dark. Okay, so we do this one and we're gonna run it. And then as you can see, it's already low because we've already got it covered. So there we go and I'm gonna cover that side or cover that side. And if I cover both, 
Although it doesn't seem like it's going as low as when it was just sitting. So there we go. It says lists. You may notice something about the IR data that you haven't seen yet. In all the examples, we use a function called get all IR data. However, there are six IR sensors, sensors that each have a value. How can they all be in the same variable? All this data is actually stored in a list. In Python, lists can be used to store and organize data of the same type without creating multiple variables. Accessing values. When you call, and so you can see here it was here that it says get all IR data. And then it, the readings, and then anyway. Okay, accessing values. When you call Zoomy get all IR data, the program requests all the sensor data and saves them in a list with, you guessed it, six items. In this example, the list name is IR readings. Unlike a shopping list that is usually vertical, a list in Python is written horizontally and closed in brackets. The next cell will take a reading and print out the values. So this will not print on her screen. This is actually gonna print in the browser. So I did it, run it previously, so I'm gonna run it again. So see, you're getting each of them zero through five. So that's um, front, right, I gotta go back. Front, right, bottom, right, back, right, bottom, left, back, left, front, left. So it goes basically front, right, bottom, right, back, right, I will say front, right, bottom, right, back, right, <laughs> bottom, left, back, left, front, left. I don't know why they did it that way. That you see, think that they would have done like three point, this point, this point, this point, but they didn't, it's very confusing. I don't know why they did it that way. Anyway, so printing the list name will print all the values, but what if you just wanna check one or two values? You can access the data or each element by its index. The index is like the home address of where it lives in the list. As with for loops, Python lists start at zero. Take this list, for example, what is what is value of the first element? It's what is the value of the first element? What about the last? Below is an example of accessing the first element at, I, at index zero. Practice printing all the values. Make sure you save the IR values in a variable with a descriptive name. When the program starts getting more complicated, you don't want to forget which value corresponds to which sensor. So this one is just getting front right IR. So we run it and it's 175. Now we should get the same again, and this one we're gonna get the front right, the front left, <clears throat> the back right, the back left, the bottom right, and the bottom, bottom left. And as you can see, the numbers are all over the place because they didn't do them in the way you would kind of expect. You would, you would expect to do these, and then these, and then these, but whatever. I, I'm probably never gonna remember this list. So we're gonna run it and get each of the readings. So it, it kind of varies slightly uh, for these for the number when it's repeated, just because visibility slightly differs. But anyway, front right, front left, back right, back left, bottom right, bottom left. And because the it, because Zoomy's sitting down. Now let's say I pick up Zoomy, and then I rerun it. See, the numbers change on the bottom. They went up way, way up. All right, so there you go. There's there's a zoomy zoom. Zoomy zoom doing things with uh, infrared. Thank, thank you, take care, stay safe.